Time for the DC DLX. Harley Benton was a B-stock. Um, I never really found out what made it a B-stock. Except for the fact that maybe the strings don't pass right over the pull pieces properly on the pickups. Yeah, that could be it. Everything else was, was good on the guitar. The paint, I mean the finish is just phenomenal on it. Uh, I did fret work. Now they're like, ooh, buttery smooth. It hasn't been out in a while. And I bought this one as an SG style because I didn't have one. And it was thick like a Les Paul and the jack comes out the bottom and not on the face. And it was reduced in price because these DLXs, uh, as they call them, the Deluxe Series, a uh, Goto Deluxe Series, um, crazy expensive. They were like 350 bucks. Uh, I haven't looked up what, what they are now. I'll, I'll look it up and I'll put it on the screen uh, to see what they are uh, currently going for retail Canadian. And oh yeah, that's about another $80 shipping on top of whatever that price is to get it here to Canada. So I got this one and uh, I modded it with push pulls and um, now that I've taken it out of the case I really still don't like uh, the sound of this guitar because these Tesla pickups everybody goes oh Tesla pickups I didn't like them when I got them I still don't like them <clears throat> but um, we're gonna cut the story a little bit right here in the in, in the beginning I'm gonna take this guitar and I'm going to mod it again see if I can fix what's going on with these pickups and we'll get back after I show you what I've done stand by for that so as the intro says <clears throat> I didn't like how I left this DC DLX the last time I'm going to rewire it again I've uh, redrawn the schematic twice and I've decided to go back to just about original the way it was except for a volume and tone it's going to be just two volumes no push pulls and it's just going to be clean and there's going to be one lead circuit which is going to be across the entire output I just drew it there for the sake of convenience but it's actually going to be on the switch so let's uh, pop the cork again there we go so I have two push pulls in there it has a box switch which I'm going to leave because it works and I'm going to get out some 250s um, 500s all right I've got two really nice feeling B500s and those are going to go in there and now I have to depopulate technical term depopulate everything that's in here and uh, clean that out and fix it up and rewire it for my uh, new drawing stand by okay I've done a bunch of work and uh, I can do this without my my glasses I think this original circuit that I told you I was going to build uh, that doesn't work Right? That doesn't work as a bleed like you would have it over here because a bleed circuit goes um, across the pot um, across the line that's going out. Right, So it acts with this resistor in, in parallel with those capacitor and resistor. This actually acts as a treble killer when you go between the hot and the ground and I'll show you why so that's not what I did what it end up like is is like that see so now 
on the bridge pickup, here's that circuit, which is a series capacitor and the resistor that goes from the hot, or this hot, I should say, to ground, same as hot to ground. This bleeds off some of the trouble that this pickup will put out. And the, these Tesla pickups are a little bit trebly and they sound a little bit weak. So it's an 8.68K, and on other pickups that measure that, there's more girth to them, but these Teslas are not. They're kind of like on the, on the trebly end. So that one is wired directly through, but I put this uh, trouble uh, killer circuit on it, and I also adjusted pole pieces and height to get the right sound out of this circuit that I want. So that's a 1000 picofarad in this particular case with a 200k resistor in series and I found that out because of the Gizmo 2 box that I built <clears throat> a little while ago and put out that um, video. Now on the neck pickup a little bit too warm and um, bassy so the parallel circuit with the capacitor and the resistor um, does a, a frequency shift and it rolls off the the base a little bit sooner and so in series it adjusts this pickup and I found that out using Gizmo 1 and Gizmo 1 has a point or 6800 picofarad capacitor in it uh, down from a, a 10,000 and the 6800 capacitor wasn't exactly doing it for me and the next one down is a 4700 so I I guesstimated that it would be a 4700 and I matched the, the resistor at 200k that was on the 6800 in the box and it's working very well so that's in series now this is a 7k um, measured uh, pickup but when you do this series circuit like this the capacitor uh, you know resistor filter bleeds off some of that base but what happens is um, it makes the, the the reading over here going out to the amplifier here a um, hundred and sixty five uh, point something 6k um, because of this in series resistor over here. So, you, measuring here, you get this kind of a reading, but measuring at the pickup, you get that kind of a reading. And so, in the end, it sounds like what I want. Also, adjusted some pull pieces on here. Let me show you the inside of the cavity and the way I've adjusted the height and the pull pieces. And then we'll go to the amp. Okay, we're hand holding. And uh, if you look here, here's the, the circuit that cuts the trouble on the uh, bridge pickup. And then here's the series circuit that uh, does the bass roll off. So this one does bass, this one does treble. And everything else is just wired normally for independent volumes inside the cavity. Let me flip it over and show you the pickups. So as I mentioned before, the strings do not go over the pole pieces on both pickups. They're exactly the same, which looks like instead of doing like a 52 and a 50 um, dimension, they look like they're both the same. I haven't measured it, but there's just something off with that. Now, the other thing I did was is that I, I, I put the roller bridge in, and I tried it, and it is too high. And so, not to give myself any more work than necessary on this thing, I decided to put the original bridge back in, which is a pretty nice bridge. Okay? Um, it's a pretty nice bridge. However there were no grooves cut in here on the top of these saddles there were no grooves 
There was a little groove on the back, a starter groove, but over the top there was none. So I took my files and I cut appropriate size grooves for each one of these to fit into. Um, and uh, I was able to readjust the action and it's working pretty good. I also had to do a little bit of work on the nut. Um, some of the grooves, whoo, it's going to make you dizzy. Uh, some of the grooves were a little bit too shallow at the back end. Okay, so I increased the angle on the back end of, of, of all of them. I also used round files to uh, sort of clear it out the, the, um, the bottoms and I put a little bit of um, lubricant in each one of those to try to better the tuning. The tuners are very good on this um, and I think it was a combination between the nut and the uh, saddle. Um, giving me problems where the tuning wasn't holding very well. All right, here we are. And uh, we're going to go with the bridge, right, all the way up. Get the sleeve out of my way. So, listen, my D chord, favorite. Sounds great. <laughs> Before it was all trebly and shrilly, like yeesh, and I hate it. Unfortunately, I don't have before, but I think way back when I first got this thing, you can hear what it sounded like originally when I when I got it. All right, the neck. I said I was going to show you about the pickups, uh, the height of the pull uh, the screws. And I forgot to do it, and it's going to be really, really hard. But they are the pickup itself is down, and the screws are adjusted up, so I could get the tone I wanted from each string to make it just what I want. So. With the combination of the circuits that worked out with the gizmos and the height, I couldn't ask for better sounding pickups to my ears that I would want to put in this thing. So it's perfect now. In the middle. It's clear and articulate. So, one, two, three distinct sounds. Anyway, it's turned out exactly the way I wanted it. Now, back to the regular scheduled story. And we're back. So, this guitar doesn't have much of an acoustic output. It's rather dull um, when that comes to it. Now this body was uh, what? Nea, Neoa, something like that. I think it was. Um, it's very hard. It's um, it's not that heavy. Again, I'll I think I put this out once before, but I'll um, I'll go back and weigh it and I'll put it on the screen. Now. All right, I don't know whose gem track this is, but I like it. And we're gonna go with my Moval Fuzz.
Thunder Fuzz. Deluxe is now worth its weight in money. <laughs> Thanks for all your support. Catch you in the next one.